Today we're at the Gunyella Riverside Mine in central Queensland and we're here to see the M350 in action. One of our largest uses for drones is by our survey teams where they need to capture an accurate model of the mine. These mapping surveys give us accurate 3D spatial data which uh, is used for multiple purposes. This includes aiding the design of drag line, pre-strip and production drill operations. We also use this data to obtain our top of coal, roof of coal and uh, profiling of the high walls. High wall mapping has become readily used by the geologists and geotech departments now to map the structure in the high walls and this is greatly enhances the safety of the mining of the active strip and also the future strips as we advance. The teams using Enterprise drones have been really appreciative of the simplicity of their design, the simplicity of maintenance and how easy they are to operate and to operate safely. My experience with the M350 so far has been great. Um, it's got some awesome additional features such as the uh, arm lock sensors which notify the pilot if the arm locks haven't been locked on uh, prior to flight. There's increased antennas, big benefit for us as we move into beyond visual line of sight flights going forward. Using the new RC Plus remote controller has big benefits with a wider and brighter screen which allows you to see more on the ground when you're in the air and we're often flying in different conditions here so in different lighting. We use the P1 camera for all of our mapping surveys. It has really high clarity and works well for surveying. The GSD that we can get out of the P1 camera is exceptional. Be able to fly at 3,000 feet and still have a three or four centimetre GSD has been just a game changer for us in terms of operational efficiency. We can now see open edges, non-compliance to digs well before they become a problem. So the M350 really takes the, the M300 and adds even greater levels of robustness. One of the key features is we increased ingress protection, so IP ratings from 45 to 55. And that means that you can really operate this in really inclement conditions, harsh conditions like we see here, even in a folded up format. In addition, we've increased the antennas around and updated to OcuSync 3, which is our new format. What that means is you can get 1080p transmission all the way up to 20 kilometers away. We've also improved the case, which has 360 degree wheels for ease of transportation. We've also redesigned the battery case and uh, to fit with the TB65 batteries. This means that you can actually set it on uh, storage mode and it will charge to 50%, which extends battery life. And overall, the way the TB65 battery has been redesigned, we get up to 400 cycles out of them, which is a big improvement and cuts costs of uh, the overall operation of the drone. The survey department is the link between the active pit in the real world and the office where the design work happens and using the M300 and M350 allows us to capture the data and deliver it really quickly back to the engineers and uh, sees it utilised by a large group of people, whether that be for design work, compliance reporting or volume calculations. The output data sets have been really easy to integrate into our 3D mine planning software and our digital twin software. And what we've found with the data sets now is that our teams in the office are able to have meaningful conversations with the data so that when that information gets to the pit, they know it's going to work. Safety is really important in mining. What we've been able to achieve by implementing drones has really been two key steps. We've been able to move our people from acquiring the data to safe positions. And now that we're capturing comprehensive data sets, we can perform analysis and automatically flag hazards without a person needing to go and inspect the area. Since implementing the Matrice 300 and now the 350, we've been able to leverage the ability of the dual compass, dual IMUs, dual batteries. It's really helped us to provide a level of assurance to the regulators and our own internal safety teams that the drones are less likely to fail during flight. Partners like BMA, we have the, uh, the opportunity to really get feedback about how they're using our products, how they adapt to the environments that they have to operate in, and we incorporate all that into our product updates. I'm really excited to see where BMA takes us next. 
Even though BMA's been operating drones for 10 years, we've really only scratched the surface on what drones and the M350 can help us achieve. I'm really excited for us to understand how we can continue to leverage this technology.